The timber industry is nervous and environment groups say the devil could still be in the detail. About the only thing they agree on is the historic peace agreement will not end the protests. The Mackays have operated sawmills in Tasmania for more than 60 years. Their existing wood supply contracts are guaranteed under the historic forest agreement. We have uh, 110 employees around the state and it's very important to them and it's very important to us as a family business to be able to continue operating. But with the Greens already rejecting the deal, Bernard Mackay is doubtful of seeing an end to the decades old forest conflict. And the uh, environmental groups more extreme environmental groups will continue to protest in the forest forever and so we'll have no peace at all. The whole thing was premised on trying to deliver peace in our forests. If it doesn't deliver that, it is not worth doing. Industry says it's compromised enough and issued a challenge to the political Greens. And I would say to them, it's time to stump up, guys. We've all got to give something to make this work if we genuinely want to get peace out of this process. Environment groups who were part of the peace talks have cautiously supported the latest development. We're going to be working closely now um, on looking at all the details of this heads of agreement because the devil can be in the detail. But they're unlikely to flex their muscles over their smaller counterparts who vowed to keep protesting. We live in a democratic society that people have the right to express their views, that everybody uh, across Tasmania, both inside this process and outside this process, are looking to the governments to show leadership. The agreement failed to mandate a clear length of time that the Triabunna wood chip mill should operate for, an issue everyone was talking around today. Triabunna is an essential piece of infrastructure, but it is not the only one. And if we can't get satisfactory access to that facility, we need to identify an alternative. Another uncertainty in the forest negotiations. Linda Hunt, ABC News.